shortcut this way? Yes. Look, there it is. That's the shortcut? I know a shortcut when I see one. Shortcut. Hmm. Well, at least I. Hey, look! I think I know that herd. I do too. It's Allie. Allie's come back. Let's go see her. I wish we had a shortcut. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow our way home. To the land before time. Play? Who is this rat guy? I am Rhett. <laughs> well, I'm Sarah, and this is Littlefoot. We're Allie's old friends. Tell them. Um, Rhett is very brave, but he won't play with kids he doesn't know. That doesn't sound very brave. Oh, yeah, Little Nick. My name is Little Foot. Well, I'm Rhett the Brave, hero of the herd, scarer of the sharp teeth. Hero of the herd? <clears throat> scarer of the sharp teeth? The ones we've seen aren't scared of flying rocks, earthshakes, or smoking mountains. Let alone little long necks. Well, they're scared of me. Tell them all about your adventures, Rhett. Well, while you kids have been living here safe all the time, I've been in the mysterious beyond protecting my herd. Stay back. I'll handle this. to those flying rocks. Now, another time, the herd was being chased. Go on without me. I won't let them hurt you. Ugh, 
that was a close one. <laughs> That's some tale. I know. And then there was the time I used my tail to build a mountain of rocks that the sharp teeth couldn't climb. <laughs> You're safe now. Let's go. And you haven't heard anything yet. I think we've heard enough. We've heard plenty. So, Allie, were you with Rhett when any of this stuff happened? Um, no. That happened before our herds joined up. And you really believe that he built a mountain of rocks with his tail? While being chased by sharp teeth? Oh, well, that mountain of rocks was mostly built. But I did finish the top. See? He finished the top! Of a mountain? That's pretty hard to believe. You're just mad because you can't knock down trees with your tail. Come on, Sarah. I guess we're just not brave enough to play with Allie anymore. <laughs> Want to play rescue? Um, okay. I can't believe Allie believes those crazy stories. We were her friends. Hmm. Well, it's not fair. He can't be her best friend. I don't care. The stories he's telling are false. to meet him. No, Petrie. Rhett's making stuff up and has convinced Allie he's telling the truth. Allie thinks he's so brave, and he's not. It makes me so mad. I'm angry, too. Well, the longer you're mad, the less you're happy. So what we do? I don't know, Petrie. But we gotta find a way to show Allie the truth. Yeah. I guess I could just try telling Allie that Red is making stuff up again. But what if she does not believe you again? What if Red hit you with tail? <laughs> we need to show Allie that Red's not as brave as he says. Yeah. I'd like to see what Red would do if a real sharp tooth came around. Hmm. Wait! What if we really did have him face a real sharp tooth? You want to bring a real sharp tooth into the Great Valley? Uh, I don't know if that plan's such a good plan. My plan is to use a sharp tooth that's already here. <laughs> There's sharp tooth in Great Valley. Ooh. Yep, and he's right here. You mean me? But Chomper is nice. He is, he is. We know Chomper's nice, but you don't know that until you know him. And Allie and Rhett have never met Chomper. Right! Now, here's how it'll work. Ah! Chomper will chase us around, pretending he's a vicious sharp tooth. Then Little 
Bigfoot shows up and asks Rhett to help him save everyone. Grr, grr, grr. Ah, but when Rhett gets scared, Allie will see he's been making up all of those stories. See? If we all pretend right, it'll work. I can pretend to be scared in yup, yup, yup. Oh, me good at being scared. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Come on, little foot. It's a great plan. What can possibly go wrong? What do you think, Chomper? It sounds kind of fun to me. As long as nobody gets hurt. Nobody will get hurt. We're all just going to be pretending. Then it sounds like I'll be pretending to have friends for dinner. Friends for dinner. Pretend to have friends for dinner. We'll say he wants three horn soup and little foot stew. It might be funny when he chew on you. Mm -hmm. That's not a very nice thing to do. To, to have friends for dinner. <laughs> friends for dinner. Don't want to be friends for dinner. Don't want to be Spike a la mode or Fliver of Duck. You think that tastes good? Yuck! You know you've run out of luck when you're friends for dinner. Friends for dinner. Friends for dinner. My friends for dinner. Mmm. So, Littlefoot, what do you say now? It probably would show Allie that Rhett's not so brave. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Ready? You're supposed to be scared. And you're supposed to be scary. <gasps> Guys, be serious. Start again. Ah, he hungry. Me scared. And I am even more scared it is. We need help to be saved. <laughs> Perfect. Now rush in and stand right next to me, little foot. Let's try it one more time. Ah! He hungry! Me scared! And I am even more scared than it. We need help to be saved! Time to show Allie what Red is really like. Come on, let's play rescue. Again? Could we play tag instead? Or the pointy seed game? Or swimmer splasher? Rescue it is! Start yelling help! You sound different. That wasn't me. That was someone who really needs help. Rescue them, Red! Help! Ah! He hungry! Me scared! And I am even more scared of it. We need help to be safe! <laughs> Who's chasing you? Who, who, who's hungry? He is! Uh, 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 save them, 
yourself. Oh, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> um, what's going on? <laughs> we wanted to show you that Rhett wasn't as brave as he said he was, so I came up with this plan. But that shark tooth, where did he come from? Oh, sorry, Allie. Meet Chomper. Hi, Allie. Sorry if I scared you. You're friends with a sharp tooth? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Chomper and Ruby live in the secret caverns. It's kind of a long story. But one thing's for sure, we are not afraid to play with Chomper. So what do you think? Do you want to play with us? Well, sure. I guess Red isn't as brave as he says he is. Where'd he go, anyway? Sharp tooth? I've never heard of such a thing. The sharp this tooth can't be what that be. He's a sharp tooth! Who cares if he talks? Let's get rid of him! <gasps> I suppose we must. Old one! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Chasing you. You were calling for help. They wanted to show me that all of Red's stories were made up. Stories? What stories? Um. He kept telling me that he saved his herd from many sharp teeth before we met them. Red, come forward. Uh, yes. Did you make up stories to fool these children? Um, um, uh, um, 
It's okay, Rhett. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Little ones, this is very serious. Did you see what happened when you tried to fool each other? Yes, I guess so. You may have wanted it to be a joke, but a sharp tooth attack is no laughing matter. We're all really sorry, old one. And as for you... Uh, yes? I don't know how you became friends with so many here in the Great Valley. But I think it's good. Long necks, follow me! <laughs> we can play now. We can. We can. Me not it if we play tag. I'm too tired to be it. Hey, Rhett. Want to play tag? But I made up all my adventures. It doesn't mean we can't all have new adventures. Come on, Rhett. What are you waiting for? Ah, <coughs> uh, you guys are the best. Okay, Spike, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I can't believe Ruby, Spike, and Sarah aren't here to see this. Yeah, me no believe they go to mud pools and not come with us. Come on, I saw them go this way. That sounds like hip. No, oh, me go now, me no like hip. No, Petrie, this way. Hey, wait for me. Hey, guys, who's Hip? And why are we running from him? Hip and his friends Mutt and Nod are the biggest troublemakers in the Great Valley. They can sometimes be very mean. They can, they can. They're in here somewhere. I hear them. You do not want to step on any of the eggs. Eggs? What eggs? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall Uh, guys, those aren't just eggs. They're fast spider eggs. Fast spiders? They're sharp tooth eggs? Smash them! You can't do that! Don't touch no, them! No, Wait. no, no! We found the eggs, so we get to decide what to do with them. <laughs> what makes you think that what's in those eggs won't no. eat you? They haven't hatched yet. 
But we can't let sharp teeth eggs hatch near the Great Valley. It's too dangerous. Then let's move them as far from the Great Valley as we can. But we cannot take the eggs away from their mommy. No, no, no. What if eggs mommy come looking for them? I know. We can get the fast biter mom to run after Petrie here, then the rest of us will scram. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very mean idea, Hip. It is. It is. What? He can fly, can he? Wait. Hip might be onto something. Oh no. I am. Listen, a mom would always follow her eggs, right? So we can use the eggs to lure the mom away from the Great Valley. Make sharp tooth chase us? On purpose? You gotta be crazy! <laughs> <laughs> no sided <it>, hip! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy! <laughs> <laughs> that sharp tooth mom's gonna chase you wherever you take those eggs. That's the idea. Sounds like a bad idea to me. But you guys have fun. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna move these eggs, we need everyone's help. If you do not help, these sharp teeth could hurt someone in the Great Valley. Maybe even you. Do you really want to take that chance? Ah, uh, where's my egg? We need to hide the eggs in a place just like this. There's a cave in that big mountain that should work. Okay, we'll take the eggs there. But that's really far away. That is probably a good thing. Ah! It, 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 it moved! Is the egg hatching now? Not yet, but we don't have much time before they do. <laughs> Shark -tooth. Shark -tooth. It's probably the mom coming for her eggs. She sounds like she's really close. Then we better get going. Come on. She was close! Is that her? Is that the eggs, Mom? That's the mom, all right. And she wants her eggs back! Okay. Hip and I will distract her. The rest of you, head for the lake past the trees. We'll meet there. Bah, 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 bah. Come on, Hip, let's go! Over here! Look what we've got! Go! Run for the trees! We all hurry now! No time to look back! Follow me! And do not let go of the eggs! It would be very, very bad if they break. Well, I'm not sure. This idea's a good one. What if that fast spider mom were to catch us? Why don't we leave the eggs right here and run? We are too close to home to leave them here. If they should hatch, they might find a way back to the I'm 
not scared. You scared much? Well, maybe. I mean, no, I'm not scared. Right. Then let's move these eggs. I hope Littlefoot and Hip are okay. Great idea. We're trapped. Now what are we gonna do? I'll think of something. Yeah, just like you thought we should run down this canyon. Be quiet, Hip. I need to think. Here's a thought. We dump the egg and get out of here. We're not leaving the egg. <laughs> oh, yeah? Distracted her. Now's my chance. No! Stay away! No! Stay away! Took a little teamwork, that's all. Well, we better keep this team moving. If we break into three groups, she'll have a harder time following us. It's someone else's turn to be sharp tooth bait. I'm through. Head for the canyon, past the gray meadow. Uh, you guys can lure the sharp tooth next. Good idea. We will see you at the canyon. Good luck, Chomper. Don't worry, Littlefoot. We'll be okay. I know how sharp teeth think. It'll be fastest if we go straight across the water. Ready, Mutt? Oh. <laughs> It'll be okay. We just need something for the egg to float on. Uh, oh, we'll need something for me to float on, too. What do you mean? I'm, uh, not a very good swimmer. That's okay. I'm not the best swimmer either. Now, let's see. That should work. <laughs> Don't worry, Mutt. If you hold on to the edge and kick, you'll be okay. Like me, see? Hey, Chopper! Oh, wait for me! I'm coming! 
We made it. Now we have to make sure the fast fighter mom follows us. Maybe she can't swim either. I'll get her attention. I'm here at all. Helping move sharp tooth eggs, it's crazy. It's the right thing to do, and it's helping the Great Valley. Ha, we wouldn't be in this mess if you'd have listened to me instead of that sharp tooth. Why would I listen to you? Chomper might be a sharp tooth, but he's my friend. Uh, Littlefoot? And he's a lot nicer than you. All you ever think about is what you want to do. Littlefoot, the egg? Huh? Mutt! You saved me! 
Yeah, well, I couldn't carry this egg alone, could I? about should be right across this meadow. Oh, not her again. Uh, she never gives up. Oh, she loves her eggs. She does. Enough she does. talking. Run! This is it. She won't see us here. in there. And they don't look that scary. <laughs> Most babies don't. Uh. <laughs> now they have their mommy. They do, they do. Maybe we did do the right thing. Yep. And now no one in the Great Valley has to worry about them. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We went adventuring and moved those sharp tooth eggs. To see them hatch was such a treat. Who would have thought they look so sweet? Just remember what they eat. Come on, let's go. We did what we set out to do. Yeah, sure. And to think, you guys wanted to just get rid of them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tree. 
Bright Circle Celebration. You know no? Uh, uh, she know no! Uh, uh, I don't know either. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Go back to your sleeping spots before Petrie tries to make you work all day. <laughs> Must work. Bright Circle need wonderful celebration so it stay all shiny more longer. Petrie, you can waste your time with the celebration, but I'm going back to my nice warm spot. Oh, Sarah Wright, me need help. Big celebration need big space all clean. Um, is there more to the celebration than clearing the clearing? Oh, yeah. We gather delicious cold time foods for everyone and have big feast. It is much work, but it is worth it. Yes, yes, yes. Also, everyone think about what they learned since last cold time. Like me, learned this. I know what I've learned. Look! I can hop like a hopper! <laughs> we all have great biggie fun later, but we make place ready first. I think I'm going to like this bright circle celebration. <laughs> ready, push! <laughs> Sleeping spot is getting colder and colder. This makes Bright Circle all happy. Uh, how so? Bright Circle see celebration. If good, then Bright Circle stay in sky longer and longer until warm times come. The Bright Circle is watching us? Yes, Bright Circle always watching. No, it isn't. So, if the Bright Circle doesn't like the celebration, does that mean the warm times won't come? That's what Petrie thinks, but it isn't true. It's just a story. Right, Littlefoot? Huh? Well, I don't know. I just think it's fun to celebrate something that you're thankful for. Fun for some of you, maybe. To me, it just seems like a lot of work for no reason. Are we done with this tree yet? <laughs> Me no done. <laughs> Push tree to fast water for bright circle. <laughs> okay, let's do it. it. Yep, yep, yep. Glad to see you kids are getting an early start. There's a lot of work to do today. 
Maybe for some of us. Oh, beautiful day for a celebration, isn't it? Oh, yes, it sure is. is. Hmm. Something wrong, Sarah? Why would a grown-up like you care about the bright circle? Well, there's nothing wrong with being thankful, Sarah. Me so thankful. <laughs> yeah, and I'm thankful I'm done pushing that silly tree. Hmm, I have to learn what I've learned since last cold time. <gasps> I know what I've learned it. Yes, yes, yes. I guess whatever Ducky learned is underwater. She's going awfully deep. <laughs> Maybe she's trying to get underwater green food for the celebration. There's green food underwater? Yeah, but you have to hold your breath a long time to get it. Bubbles! very much since the last Bright Circle celebration. I did, I did. That was really impressive, Ducky. Well, I bet I've learned more than all of you. I learned, um... What you learned, Sarah? Tell us. Tell Bright Circle, too. Oh, forget it. Forget what, Sarah? Forget everything. I'm so sick of hearing about the Bright Circle. Why? Do you not like the Bright Circle? I like it fine. I just don't think we need a whole celebration to thank you for being there. <laughs> What's next? Am I supposed to start thanking the trees and rocks for being here, too? <gasps> well, if you want to. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I don't want to. The Bright Circle is just a ball in the sky that's going to come and go and make warm times just like always. It doesn't need a celebration. I think everyone can make up their own minds about the Bright Circle and the celebration. Then go ahead and waste your day if you want to. But I'm not helping and I'm not celebrating. Doesn't look like you think it's so good to me. <sighs> Where are Tria and Trisha? Oh, they're off on some bright circle celebration nonsense. Really? You think it's nonsense? Because that's what I think too. Of course you do. You're a three horn, like me. Life's exactly what you see. Nothing is a mystery. A rock's a rock, a tree's a tree. It's what I call reality. Reality is so plain to see. It's right in front of me. My reality is problem. I can see the world is flat. The sky is round, can't argue that. While we stand still here on the ground. The bright circle goes round. Reality. My reality. Is no mystery. Is just what you see. It's right in front of me. There's no mystery. My reality. Is plain to see reality. I think Spike knows what he can do. Yep, yep, yep. That good, Spike. What you do? <laughs> What do you think he's doing down there? Ah! Everyone will love those tree parts at the celebration. 
celebration. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, Spike! Me think Bright Circle very proud. All right, time for us all to get back to work. But, Littlefoot, have you not learned it anything? Haven't I learned anything? Of course I have. Watch this. <laughs> hey, you sound like Spike. And I'm almost as strong as him. I said almost. Here, we'll have a feast of our own while everyone else is busy with that bright circle nonsense. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Sarah. Oh, are those for the celebration? Nope, they're just for us. What do you mean? You know I think this whole celebration stuff is ridiculous. Well, the rest of the Great Valley disagrees with you. Huh. Sarah doesn't. Right, Sarah? Right, Daddy. Well, Trisha and I have been having a great time. We've helped make the clearing look pretty. And Trisha found her first sweet tree part. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> are you listening to me? Hmm? What? Oh, 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 of course I was listening. You and all the others are busy thanking something that doesn't need any thanks. Well, if you change your mind, Trisha and I will be digging up sweet roots for the celebration. No thanks. I'm staying here with Dad. <laughs> Dad, do you think Tria and Trisha are silly? No, of course not. Hmm. Oh, you worry too much. There are some things that I just know. Now, eat. Oh, maybe I've learned to like the taste of bad tasting tree parts. Mm. <laughs> Ugh. No, I haven't learned that. No worry, Ruby. Bright circle, very patient. Dad? Oh, yes, Sarah. Remember when Tria took me and my friends to the mud pool? Yes. And at first, I didn't want to get in, but once I did, it was kind of fun. Hmm? Well, now my friends are getting ready for the celebration, and... Well, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we helped just a little bit. Well, I suppose we could go over there just to see how everyone's been getting along without us. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy! This place is looking much cleaner. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, it's just about ready for the big celebration. Hey, is that part of the celebration, too? Uh, me not think so. Sarah! Circle is angry. It just means that until we get help, we're just going to have to fight this fire by ourselves. Spike, dig like you did earlier today. 
Chopper, use your legs to kick the dirt into the fire. Okay! <laughs> Tree stars work? That'll work. Oh, I sure am glad I'm faster at running than I used to run. Say, running must be what I've gotten better at. Tree stars out of the water. I will. Yes, I will. And Petrie, I need you to take these wet tree stars, fly over the fire, and drop them onto the flames. Fly over fire? You can do it. It's for the bright circle. Right. For bright circle. The fire's not out yet. Mr. Threehorn? You're here too? Of course I'm here. And I'm here to help too. Drop some tree stars over here. I can cover this whole area.
beautiful. Yeah, it's all right. You know, maybe I've learned it's okay to celebrate. Hmm, <laughs> once in a while. You're right, Sarah. It isn't that bad, is it? I know you're not one for celebrations, Topsy, but I'm awfully glad you're here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, me happy everyone here. <laughs> 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 